Vinegar has long been a popular ingredient in various cuisines, known for its distinct flavor and myriad of health benefits. In recent years, it has gained popularity among people with diabetes who are looking for natural ways to manage their blood sugar levels. But not all vinegars are created equal, and some may be better suited for diabetics than others. In this video, we'll explore the best vinegars for diabetics and reveal the worst vinegar for diabetics, backed by scientific studies. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Let's start by understanding why vinegar is recommended for people with diabetes in the first place. Research suggests that vinegar can help slow down the absorption of carbohydrates and lower blood sugar levels, making it a helpful addition to a diabetic's diet. A study published in the Journal of Diabetes Research in 2017 showed that vinegar consumption can improve insulin sensitivity, which is crucial for people with diabetes. So, which vinegars are best for diabetics? Let's look at some of the top contenders. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, or ACV, is one of the most popular and well-researched vinegars for diabetes management. A study published in the Journal of Functional Foods in 2018 found that daily consumption of ACV significantly reduced blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. ACV is made by fermenting apple juice, and it contains beneficial enzymes and acetic acid, which is believed to be responsible for its blood sugar lowering effects. Balsamic vinegar. This dark, flavorful vinegar is made from grape must, which is freshly crushed grape juice that contains the skin, seeds, and stems. Balsamic vinegar has a slightly sweet taste, making it an excellent addition to salads and other dishes. A study published in the Journal of Nutritional Science and Vitaminology in 2010 found that balsamic vinegar could help lower blood sugar levels when consumed with a meal containing carbohydrates. Red wine vinegar. Made from red wine, this vinegar has a tangy taste and a deep red color. It's a popular choice for salad dressings, marinades, and pickling. A 2010 study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food found that red wine vinegar could improve glucose metabolism in people with type 2 diabetes. The researchers concluded that red wine vinegar might be beneficial for diabetics when consumed with meals containing carbohydrates. White wine vinegar. Similar to red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar is made from white wine and has a milder taste. It's often used in pickling, vinaigrettes and sauces. A study published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2005 found that white wine vinegar could help lower the glycemic index of a meal, making it a potentially helpful addition to a diabetic's diet. Now that we've covered some of the best vinegars for diabetics, let's turn our attention to the one that diabetics should avoid. Malt vinegar. Malt vinegar is made from fermented barley and has a strong, distinctive flavor. It's often used in fish and chip shops and as a condiment for various dishes. So why is malt vinegar the worst choice for diabetics? The answer lies in its high maltose content. Maltose is a type of sugar, and it has a high glycemic index, which means it can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. High GI foods are not recommended for people with diabetes, as they can worsen blood sugar control and increase the risk of complications. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2006 examined the effects of malt vinegar on blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. The researchers found that malt vinegar consumption led to a significant increase in blood sugar levels compared to a placebo. This was attributed to the high maltose content of malt vinegar, which rapidly breaks down into glucose in the body. Another study published in the Journal of Nutritional Science and Vitaminology in 2007 compared the effects of different vinegars on blood sugar levels in rats. The researchers found that malt vinegar caused a higher increase in blood sugar levels compared to other types of vinegar, such as apple cider vinegar and rice vinegar. This further supports the notion that malt vinegar may not be the best choice for people with diabetes. In contrast, low GI vinegars like apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and red and white wine vinegars can be more suitable for people with diabetes. These vinegars have a lower sugar content and a higher acetic acid content, which can help slow down the absorption of carbohydrates and reduce blood sugar spikes. That being said, it's essential to keep in mind that moderation is key when incorporating vinegar into a diabetic diet. While vinegar can have positive effects on blood sugar levels, consuming excessive amounts may cause digestive issues and contribute to low potassium levels. It's also important to remember that vinegar alone cannot replace a well-balanced, nutrient-dense diet, 
and a healthy lifestyle for managing diabetes. Other vinegar substitutes As well as the different vinegar for vinegar substitutes that there are available for you to utilize, you can also substitute vinegar for other ingredients. Some of the most popular of these are lemon juice and lime juice, but you can also use real wine in some circumstances. If the recipe that you are using is for baking, then you should definitely consider using lemon juice as an alternative. For example, if the recipe requires a 1 quarter cup of white vinegar for your baking task, then you should instead use 1 third cup of lemon juice to get the same results. Some might argue that the lemon juice actually tastes much better. You can also choose to use lemon juice for cooking purposes instead of vinegar, but you should double the amount that you are using. If you were required to use one cup of vinegar, then you should use two cups of lemon juice. You can also take a look at red wine, malt vinegar, tarragon vinegar, rice wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, white balsamic vinegar, herb vinegar, black vinegar, distilled vinegar, seasoned rice vinegar, and fruit vinegar. They all taste great. Lemon juice does have a lot in common with vinegar, as they both have acidic properties which are called for in all sorts of recipes. What can I use instead of cider vinegar in a recipe? We are pleased to report that you can use several different kinds of acidic liquids in place of cider vinegar in your recipes if you simply don't have cider vinegar at hand. You can use lemon juice, lime juice, rice vinegar, or distilled vinegar. And you can use these in the same proportions as you would have used the cider vinegar, which certainly makes things easier and a lot less complicated. If, however, you wanted to replace the cider vinegar in a recipe with red wine vinegar, then you will need to use an extra teaspoon of red wine vinegar for every tablespoon of cider vinegar that you want to replace. But just to give you a quick heads up, if you do replace cider vinegar in a recipe with a different vinegar, then the flavor will be far sharper, and it lacks some of the fruitiness you get with apple cider vinegar. In conclusion, the worst vinegar for diabetics is malt vinegar, due to its high maltose content and subsequent rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Diabetics should instead opt for low GI vinegars, such as apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and red and white wine vinegars. These vinegars not only add flavor to your meals, but also provide potential blood sugar lowering benefits when consumed in moderation. However, it's essential to remember that vinegar should be used as a complementary tool in managing diabetes and not a replacement for a healthy diet and lifestyle. Always consult with your healthcare provider or a registered dietitian before making any significant changes to your diet, especially if you have diabetes or other health concerns. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content about diabetes and nutrition. Stay healthy and take care.